What's going on guys? So in today's video I will show you how to make this isometric card hover effects. I said effects because there is a lot of things going on. When we hover over the card, as you can see, they open up, change its color, the font also changes color. There is also this button hover effect. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about web dev, subscribe and you also click the bell so you don't miss our weekly videos. We start right now. All right, let's start really from the beginning, from the scratch. First of all, let's create our first folder. We can make this from the moment to create the folder until we finish the whole project, okay? This is really step by step. Now let's go to our brackets. Let's open our project that we just created in our desktop. Let's create our structure. First, let's create our HTML file. Let's call that index.html and let's create also our CSS file. Let's go back to our HTML and create our boilerplate. And here we need a link that's going to connect our CSS to our HTML file. And for the title, let's say Isometric Card Hover Effects HTML and CSS. All right, now let's go live. So we can go to the left and you see the results on the browser on the right in real time, okay? And here let's have our UL, LI, it's gonna be our list. It's very simple, here we have just three items. One is our H1, 03. Another one is going to be this spam. In here, let's say finally JavaScript. And the third item is going to be this link. Okay. And this one, we also have this spam say click here. Let's just copy this one and paste two times. It's almost done. All we have to do is make a few changes here. Instead of 01, is there two? There, learn CSS. All right. And now let's move to the last one. Let's change the number here for one. And in here, let's say first learn HTML. All right, our CSS is done. All right, let's jump into our CSS. Let's start with a CSS reset. Then let's move to the body. Let's pick up a color and also a font, okay? This one is gonna be Arial Helvetica. Also, CSS Serif. Now let's start our UL. List style is gonna be none. Text align, let's put in the center and position absolute. Left 50% and top 50%, it's all about position. Margin left minus 125 pixels, margin top 180 pixels. Okay. Now let's move to our H1, our span, and also our links. It's index 99 and position relative. Now let's start our list itself with display blocks. Position is going to be absolute. Background, let's pick a color FE, FE, FE. Let's give a width of 250 pixels by 320. Okay, this is going to be the size of our card. Top is zero. And left also zero. Transform, let's rotate it to uh, 10 degrees. And let's Start the shape minus six degrees, okay, with the skill. Transform origin bottom and center. Let's also give it a box shadow, 10 pixel by horizontal vertical offset, 30 pixels blur. And for the color, let's use black, okay. Transition four seconds. Let's give it also a Z index of minus one. Overflow here is going to be hidden. 
All right, let's target our uh, list. Let's use a pseudo class after, content nothing. For position, let's see absolute, left zero with 100%, height 10 pixels, background RGB. All right. Let's give it a color, linear gradient. Okay. 45 degrees is the bottom color. You're gonna see on the right that's let's give it here zero percent. Now the second color here. As you can see on the right, you start to see the color on the bottom. Okay. Let's also apply a transition of that six seconds. All right. For our H1, let's give it a font size of 7.2 EM, make it bigger. Let's use WebKit Linear Gradient here. Let's pick it a color. All right, we have two colors here uh, in a gradient. Now let's use WebKit again, background clip. It's gonna apply that for the text, but you can't see. Let's fix it now with text fill color transparent. Now you can see the background color on the text. Margin top is, let's give it uh, 50 pixel and also give it a transition of 34 seconds. All right, now let's start our spam, okay. Let's give it a size of 1.3 em, color 999. Next step, let's grab our links, okay. Let's display is gonna be inline block. Let's give it a padding top and bottom 10 pixels, right and left, at uh, 20 pixels. Here, the position, top 40 uh, pixels, give it a border. And of course, a transition of seven seconds, cubic bezier. Let's give the, the four points. You can mess around with these numbers, okay? Let's give it also a color of white. Text decoration is, is gonna be none. Get rid of any underline. Scale zero, position relative, and overflow is gonna be hidden. All right, let's target our UL, LI, and also our links and the pseudo class after. Position here is gonna be absolute. Left and bottom is going to be zero, it's all about position. Width is going to be 100%. And also transform origin, center and top. Okay, change the origin of the transformation of this element. For background RGBA 000 and transparency dot 3. Border radius 100% 000. Let's also apply a transition or all dot five seconds and linear. Now let's start our list, make a hover effect, and also our links use a pseudo class after. Height is, is going to be 1000% with 100%, and for position is going to be absolute. Target our links, we have a Hover effect, border color transparent, it transform 1.2. It's gonna be bigger after we click on it. Now let's use our universal selector, okay? Nth child, let's select the, the first card, let's spin 20 degrees, distort the shape in minus 20 degrees, and in here, let's make it 10 pixels right and 10 pixels down. Now let's start to the second one. This, the same values, okay. Now the third one, and this one is gonna be minus 10 pixels and, and minus 10 pixels, okay. All right, now let's move into our UL LI hover. Let's change the Z index to nine. Let's Pick a color for the background, the 0, E, 18, 25. 
let's have also a box shadow, horizontal and vertical offset of 3 pixels, 40 pixels blur, and for the color black, transparency dot 0.5. Always finish here. Now let's go to our URL, our list, hover, and our links. And here let's change its position, okay, top 30 pixels, and transform on scale to 1. Another hover here. UL hover, LI hover, pseudo class after, height for the height 100%. Now let's change the color of the text of everything on a card, okay? Once you hover over the card, all the text is gonna be white. So the color white. Background here a linear gradient, okay. Going from white to white. Let's use again our background clip text. As I told you, text is gonna be white. And text fill color transparent so you can see the background, the white background. All right, now let's apply hover on the cards. Let's copy this one to make it a little quicker, okay? Copy it and paste it here. UL hover. Let's change the spin for 40 degrees and screw to zero and translate uh, 100 pixels, okay? As you can see, it's already working on the right. Let me copy this one and paste it again here, down here. Let's change it to the card number two. And change the rotating screw to zero. No translator wrong, okay? All right. Now let's go to the third one. This one is gonna rotate in minus 40 degrees, score zero, and translate in minus 100 pixels. All right, our project is done. We just finished it. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly videos. See you in our next video.